Family, this is Bomani Tamba. Welcome to our Black Star Repatriation and Pan African Community Meeting. Uh, today's date is February 23rd, and this is a conference call where we just give all updates about our future community, Black Star Repatriation and Pan African Community in Ghana. What I'm doing, I've organized this project uh, for us, uh, for those of us that were part of. Garvey Town, which uh, we're very hopeful to build an energy with a group of um, people who say that they were Garveyites and said a bunch of things, uh, but you know, like, but uh, we have reorganized a fresh project that's more catered to those of us um, that are really ready and focused to actually get things done, and a project that we're organizing to accommodate those of us uh, to the highest level and not be on some poor righteous teacher community building and, and things like that. Uh, so excuse my energy of certain things. I'm really like frustrated with the unorganization of us, so we're putting all of our energy to make sure this project works for us. And for those who have known me for a while, that's all I'm about, organizing and making things work. So this first project that we have, uh, what I've done um, is put everything organized on our website Af on africaforafricans.org which is our website that represents all of our tours and all of our investment projects and this is the main investment projects that we have um, which is the community and then all the wonderful things that will be connected to this community all the future uh, commercial investments and the future residential expansion uh, and we are literally dead serious about all the things we have so to make things uh, simpler, what we have done is just put the entire community overview on the website. Uh, so, and there's about uh, 10 different articles that are broken down. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's exactly 10 that has the different parts of the project overview, which is something that we've sent out over and over. And I'm hoping that everyone has seen it and read it in detail by now for clarity to see what our community is about. And the main thing that one everybody understand, we don't have a whole bunch of plots. We may have about 45 to 50 plots on the first phase of this operation. And everything that we're building is to build a foundation to expand. And uh, unfortunately, you'll see price and numbers and things that go up and change. Like right now, uh, you, those, of those who have saw the numbers earlier that we estimated for $2,000, now you see it's $2,500. Some plots are not going to be available because we have to cut streets and we also have to set up certain things, business center, community center, security posts. Uh, so the best thing that we're working on right now is a nice layout. Uh, so th for those who have screen sharing up, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that up. I have an image of the uh, one of the overviews that we're working on and I'm going to post that up and let us probably try to put it in the Facebook page or the, the group chat, but it's not complete, so it's not something I want to really share uh, until we have a nice little overview, but it explains a lot of the things and shows the reduction of the plots and shows which plots are being used for the things that we need. So having the documentation and the clarity and, and when we go into other things like that would we'll just make it clear. Uh, so that's why I don't want people to get confused that they just start looking at certain things and not looking at what came before this. I'll read through the list of important things, um, the, all the 10 titles. And so, so for those who literally are new and literally trying to see what's going on, uh, once you click on the link, you have the overview, which is a very short overview, and then some pages will have pictures. Uh, and because the full overview is also part of the other documents. So we just did the main intro part of the overview. Right. So second one, uh, land survey and location. So still trying to get um, an approximate GPS location to where you click on it and it shows you where we exactly are. So with the site plan and things like that, trying to get the coordinates and trying to work it to where we can do that. But right now, I just have something to where when you click on it, it shows, you know, it shows the area where we're in, uh, but it's not approximately towards our, our property. And for those who are good at reading the um, uh, land survey and things like that, you'll see certain dimensions. 
land commission search. Uh, so you'll see the paperwork of the search that's being done. Um, uh, prime objective, uh, uh, business opportunities, building and buying homes, membership rules, membership application, pictures and videos, and getting started. So those are literally all of the details, the fundamental and the important information of this project that I want, we want everybody to be clear on before they fill out any application or send things in. Now I'm going to move to the uh, YouTube page, uh, youtube.com forward slash Bomani2007. Once you're on that main YouTube page, you can just literally click on uh, the playlist that says Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. And what we have is one, two, three, four conference calls. And that's what we've done the last few months. And then we have about another 17 videos that shows us there meeting the chief, going to the land, going to the, you know, the back way of the land, but now going to the land and going down to the beach, uh, which is not too far from the land. The beach is approximately two miles. Uh, it's a beautiful beach, and uh, right now we don't have any access to, to, to offer any beach property or anything. So you know, I understand people are going to have those questions, but we're... You know, we need to really honestly just focus on what we're working on, which is the community. And, you know, once we do certain things, then we can really just focus on other things. Uh, but we have an issue of, like, uh, these unorganized people from Garvey Town, they sold their souls to 300 acres, and then un same thing as unorganized people there in Sianca, sold their soul for all these hundreds of acres of land, and have built nothing, no community, no town or anything. And so we end up just biting off more than we can chew just because of egos and this big talk and things like that. And it's like all these fake people who are trying to be Marcus Garvey, you know, it's like Marcus Garvey is organized and about his business, but it's like we shouldn't be trying to be anyone. We should be trying to organize what we need to organize and learn from you know, the people before us, not trying to think that we can be some 21st century Garvey. And as you can see, 21st century Garvey town, I'll show you some videos. There's nothing there but some raggedy houses are falling apart. And that's it in a raggedy school building and the owner, the, the, the organizer and his raggedy house. And, you know, and it's not, people may think that's being a little too harsh, but my point is, you know, one of the, you know, my point is if we judge everyone based on them being credible and based on them showing what they're about and things like that, we'll get a lot further. So no more benefit of the doubts for anybody. Some of the people that were connected to a system that didn't do their job, we fired them, fired, just got them with a bunch of people from the business that we do. Uh, and trying to just make sure that we have the right set of people because we're, you know, we're trying to take things to a whole different level. And we're telling people that you have to be able to keep up, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm showing those of us the links to the, uh, these uh, videos. So these, these are literally what we started right after the summer of dealing with these people from Garvey Town, realizing that we're not going to be able to really build an organized community that represents those of us from the African diaspora. And part of, a big part of the African diaspora is black America. And for those who don't like it, they don't like it. I'm not from America, but I acknowledge uh, you know, the situation of that. It's what it is. The, you know, the, the energy of the people that are going to come and be, want to build homes and be a part of the community you know, are going to be from here. So the most important thing for us to do is understand the people that we do in business with, which is always a part of this basic business 101. So they weren't able to do that. I try to tell them. I try to go through it with them. And, you know, some of them are, you know, where I'm from in, in Jamaica and that, that may be first or second generation black British people, you know, and you try to explain it clearly, you know, that where's the people who live, where we live in this country and trying to make our way to the African continent, we're not trying to move on some poor righteous situation where, where I just want to live in a village hut house. You know, in order for us to excel to the highest, so we need to build an organized community that represents the higher level of us organizing our minds and trying to work with our brothers and sisters on the African continent. It's hard for us to work with each other when we haven't built anything. So it's, and it's easier for those of us who have built certain things to work with those of us that have built certain things. So the only people that we're looking to deal with now is people that have a mindset of building and organizing. Uh, so that's that level of documentation, YouTube. Uh, Facebook, we have Facebook um, forward slash groups, uh, Black Star Pan-African Community, or you can just type in Black Star Pan-African Community, and then you'll be connected to our Facebook group and uh, send all the posts here, and uh, it's where you can click on photos and you'll see 
you go you go to albums and you'll see the photos of you know I still have the ones for Garvey Town up um, I have that from for many different reasons. Uh, it's just showing a progression from one place to the next. Uh, but I have 160 photos of the land for our Black Star Pan African community. They're showing you a walk to of uh, meeting the chief, going to the land, going down by the beach. Uh, so it's the same thing as the videos that we have. So that's that level of documentation. So you have photos, videos, and you have documents. And everyone that are open to being a part of this community, they have to be clear about everything. And you know, the same thing when you, anyone that's traveled with me also, people, be clear about who you're traveling with and the mindset of the people that are organizing things because I don't have the same mindset as every other black person. I just have, I have my own outside-the-box vision, you know, and, and which was created from just being here in Georgia trying to be a progressive black person and working a job and everything and I had to deal with wicked, evil white people and wicked, evil black devils. And that has just literally just made me who I am. And went to Africa to work about my roots and learn different careers to, to be independent. I transformed myself from, myself from an aircraft technician to an IT technician and from this uh, a, a university student to a professional business administrator. And this, you know, and, and it's what it is. We have to just sometimes just make certain sacrifices and, and just take it to that level. Uh, but, you know, you know it's like after realizing this working hard, trying to, you know, from you know, family move from Jamaica to just trying to work your, your way up and learn what you need to learn to progress and better yourself. You realize that, you know, we're just here as this, these people slaves or these people, you know, and, and, and have a wicked uh, white devil system where you go left, right, up, down, you show your best progress. you just in a circle of being a servant. That's it. And, you know, it's like you, you know, for those of us who want something more in life and want to be able to, you know, want to be able to exercise our level of freedom, want to be able to just say, hey, I don't want to pay this wicked telecom company or water company and all these other people that are, you know, it's like everything is owned by everyone else around us. And it's like, just give us a chance to build our own everything, water supply, power operation, uh, community organizing and everything like that. And in order for that to work, we have to have the best minds of our people. And, you know, so we consistently just go through all of this information and I have a list of a lot of people who say, say a lot of things. And, and uh, so for those who are literally ready, the information is right there on the site, and you can call me directly. Just need everyone to fill out the paperwork, the application, send at least a deposit in, but we need at least half of the money up. That way we can send it in to pay for the deed of the land. You know, so we're not doing what Gary Tan or Fiyaka or anybody else do. We are literally asking what's the cost of the land, and we're going to pay for it. So you're looking at anywhere for a total of about... It's in Ghana CD, so it, it throws you off. But uh, you're looking at um, $80,000 for that amount of land, and you have to work it to where, since you're not going to have 60 shirt of plots, you have to adjust the price. So that's what you see the price is. 50% of that give us a land deed, and then everybody else pay their balance. And then we, you know, we close out on the memorandum of understanding, which was uploaded to our group chat. Uh, so everyone was putting money down to see things that's going on and that's another thing too we have to keep up with certain things that are posted in the group chat that's for all of us to process and look at and anybody have any problems or not clear about certain things we need to communicate um, that way we, we're clear uh, we have to if a lot more people ask questions from the last project we would have probably been more conscious of what we're doing so the same thing this question what you need to question and look at it and process it and just have a communication say hey we may be flowing in the wrong direction. Hey, what, what, what if we need to think about certain things? So those things that I'm hoping that those of us in the group can communicate and share. So that's why we have, you know, WhatsApp group page, Facebook group page, you know, we have and you know, emails and things like that. So let's use those things to communicate. This is not my project. It's a project I'm organizing because I got caught in some unfair stuff, which is, you know, I mean, you put yourself in the middle of trying to bring bustles of black people to in our location, say, you know, because they're saying that, you know, we're building a community at, or we have land for those of us in the diaspora, which is, you know, which you see. I, didn't, I haven't been to all these communities. There's a few more popping up, and I'm not giving them the benefit of the doubt uh, either because everyone else that we've seen before have led us astray, you know. So when you're the organ person organizing things and trying to make it work, you know, you get caught up in the middle and, you know, so I'm not trying to, Put myself in a situation to get prosecuted and end up in an American jail because people saying that I didn't follow through or do certain things. So 
that's why I'm being, just like talking from a point of seriousness, like that is that serious. Because then what people do is throw you under the bus, and, and I'm not stepping out here trying to organize anything just to be any victim of anything. It's like if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right, and I'm willing to give my heart and soul like I've done to everything else I've done in my independent career because I was in the U.S. military and every day I got up and I went and did their work for them, I worked for the airlines, and I got up every day and did their work for them and it's like, okay, now I have a chance to do something for us. Let's put that level of integrity and energy into it or, or at a higher level. You know? So that's the only thing I'm also saying, as I'm saying the many different things, just trying to just pinpoint the energy and just get us uh, focused. Uh, so we have we have gotten a good a, a few people to work on things uh, from logos to community overview to bylaws, and appreciate those seven to ten brothers and sisters that have organized to do that. And as we have a whole lot list of other people, uh, once we have more things, you know that we're clear on, we can send it out. But it's also up to those of us that are in these, you know, that are submitting our money and filling out application to be a voice of like, of say, hey, I see that. Uh, this is not done or this needs to be done or organized. Um, I can do this. And then you know, not only just volunteer, but show and prove what you're doing and update the rest of us. Uh, other than that, we'd rather have people not you know, commit to anything. So uh, just also being clear about what we're trying to do, where we need to take it, and who we need to you know, work with more to make things happen. Uh, that is the uh, Facebook uh, group page. and. I have the next thing I have is the um, the newsletter which I send out uh, from my email, but also in general, it just usually be sent out from the Mailchimp uh, email system that I have you know, have, you know for tours and investment. Anyone that I've reached out to me about Africa tours or investment over the last 15 years, I've put built the email list, and they're on this email list unless you un unsubscribe or remove yourself, which is absolutely fine. Um, but that's my best way to share tourism and investment uh, information um, through that system, but sometimes it goes into your junk mail or some other mail, so you can always set it to where it doesn't do that or you know, check there periodically. Uh, but we have these wonderful newsletters and they fill out information. So this one that we have, um, I've been modifying it for the last uh, few conference calls. Um, I have it to where you see the, the myself in the middle um, and our, our lawyer, the paramount chief that, uh, that oversees that, uh, the land that we're moving to in that entire area, uh, the surveyor, and uh, my tour guide slash our consultant, uh, Mother Kwabina. And you know, so we'll put our minds together as I organize them to say, hey, we have to, you know, the situation happened with Garvey Town, and, you know, and they just basically just, lied to us and sold us a dream and tried to change things up once they got the money and you know so I had them in court and you know and they don't know who they're messing with I'm one of the people that will organize a bunch of lawyers and have your property taken from you and get you shut down and embarrassed so they, they you know they underestimate somebody because you're you're quiet and you're nice and you're doing certain things but I'm the wrong person to mess with when it comes to things that is that good that can destroy everything that I've worked for those who you know, who, you know, who are trying to set me up, I, I go after them. So if you hear me talk about courts in Darby Town, I'm literally, you know, they're being processed for many things. We have had a few different legal approaches to them, uh, from being served to getting, you know, you know, and so on to getting sued and a bunch of other things I can't really explain until, until certain things are done. But we're not going to let uh, people who play with the future of our children, the future of what we're building, uh, and just abuse our ancestors' name. And again, anyone want to use Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, or any of our great ancestors' name to any project, you better deliver, do the work you're supposed to do. Other than that, you know, we need to just really just call these people out. And because you know, what they do, they mess it up for the rest of us. Because other black people that are investors and are serious about things, and they would like to work with some serious black people that are more in a pan-African repatriation mindset like us, you know, we want them to approach us and connect with us. So I'll always tell the story of what happened in Garvey Town. I'm not ashamed to, you know, to explain it, that, um, you know, explain what happened, you know, and, you know, because a lot of us operate just like Garvey Town, and that's unfortunate. And, you know, it's also saying that we, d we can't keep on affording to operate like this and lose out on what we're looking to build as a, as a group of people. So all of us have to really check ourselves and see if are we really serious about committing ourselves to what's going on. If not, 
you know, it, it's not, you know, be honest and let us know because we can't be in a situation where we have to babysit grown people and, you know, we need people have to take accountability and understand that they're a fundamental part of this and they have to also support and, 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 and contribute certain things that's going to make it work. Um, I'm fine with everyone coming on the conference call, but please have questions and please have some of directions to say, hey, I looked at this and, you know, just literally looking to be just straight up with everyone because uh, once again, I'm out of a period where I, I can't do it anymore with just, um, you know, with the whole babysitting things of dealing with us. And, you know, I have too many numbers on my phone to be calling everybody and communicating with everybody. And it's like, we're going to have to answer emails and we're going to have to communicate on other means. And I can't be the one calling everybody. You know, so, um, and, you know, and then when they send emails, there's emails out for updated receipt. I credit everybody um, for the last project. And, you know, that's out of my business profit. And it's what it is. I, I don't mind. Um, you know, you know, because when things go wrong, we all we have, all have to be accountable. So everyone who have gotten credit for the last project, that's a real credit, and that money goes towards the situation. And anyone that's not clear, um, you can call me directly. I'm available all throughout the week. I work seven days a week. I believe in strong work ethics, and I don't need no day off to do nothing to go and just need to work on these things. Uh, folks like myself have had all the vacation that you can need, is, you know, and we're at the point where it's time to turn it up to another level and put the work in. So um, please look at the news that will be clear on it. It tells a whole history of what we're doing. It got to have all of the links, and it talks about next conference calls and things like that. So if you don't see a conference call, information gets sent out, or if you see it's getting sent out in a few days, well, always remember that every recording I do, I put that we have the next conference call here and the next conference call on the newsletter, so everything is in the information that's being sent. Um, I understand that sometimes people may be busy and things, but the thing I always say that, you know, we're never too busy to make sure that we show up at that job and do all the stuff we have to do. So if we're going to build something for ourselves, we need to put the same emphasis and focus in it. And if we're not, you know, that I definitely understand. And, you know, I would just recommend this, you know, individuals focus on something else outside of what we're doing because we're trying to get the best out of everyone. And then throughout the newsletter, you just see a history of just where we came from with even the December 2000 trip to Ghana and so on. So let's try to show everyone just a history of what we've been involved in, what we're doing. And what you see is a dedication consistently, like consistently. So I'm putting my work ethics, energy, along with those who are willing to do the same, and let's build something special together for our brothers and sisters since... Um, you know, some of our people have failed us, and that's what it is. And I was having a few conversations about government. I told people that I come from a country where I've learned that the, you know learned not to depend on government because government are going to sell you out. So all we really have is us, you know. And you know, even this, our same brothers and sisters that's in a country like Ghana, the government focus is somewhere else. You know, so we, you know, government is there and law enforcement is there for to serve a certain purpose. Uh, but as far as defining where we want to go as a people, we have to do that. We can't depend on anyone else to save us, you know. Um, and as we live in this country and we see more and more uh, others coming, whether it's Asians, Mexicans, or whatever, they're coming to take your position, your job, and take your future and be the, the replacements. And whatever, no, no conspiracy or anything, is just literally saying, you know, it's like, what are we going to really do? From just being in the black country and being with my brothers and sisters, all my life, that's what I like, you know. I like to just be around us, the, well, anyway, the best of us. And because at the end of the day, people like myself, no, one's gonna, no one else is going to mess with me. I, mean, I, I can't go and go try to organize things with any white people or anything. And, you, know, you know, I put myself in a position to where it's just us and us building what we need to build, and that's it. And no politics, no bureaucracy. It's just us being real with each other and getting right to the point. So... All the things I've just mentioned is the flow of documentation, and, and I'm not going to go into details because we have went very much into details the last few conference calls. All right, and for those who are looking at the screen sharing, this one is showing 52 plots, and it may be a few adjustments to certain people plots, uh, but this stuff is really just complicated, so we're trying to simplify it, but, you know, so... Right now, this um, same drawing that we have 
and the draft drawing I had that I posted in the uh, the community group chat based on me taking my rule and carving out 60 plots from the actual survey layout and then saying we need to modify streets like this, make this part a community center, business, business office, and security guard post, and then small little park operation. Uh, so that is going to be perfect uh, once you come into the community. And then I have it where at the very back is another group that has the land called a revival ministry. So uh, we can get that fenced off. And for those who want to build big homes or build certain units and things, build it right back there. That is perfect location. We're not going to be like Garvey Town saying that uh, we don't want uh, anybody building a mansion to do all of this and everything. They, they mean, they're stupid propaganda. It's like, yo, if you want to build a two-floor house or build what you want to build, um, you know, it's what it is. Uh, for people in the smaller homes, build it in the front. And for people in another type of homes, you can build it on the side. But the goal is to lay that out so individuals who want certain type of homes can focus on that. And then when we have the different builders, we, we can have different builders working on different projects. So all of those things literally are in process of being detailed and it will be just shared with all of us and you know, all of us via email uh, that I have on the group email list. Uh, so if you're interested in what we're doing and you haven't received a direct email from me from you know, a, and an email from me, let's say Blackstar, anything, that means you're not on the email list. If you receive it from MailChimp, that's just a general email list. Uh, so the only thing you have to do is just uh, email me and let me know. You want to, you know, you want to be kept in touch uh, with this project. That way, I can keep your name on the email list. Because the main thing is, it's not about those who just want to be a part of the project. Now, uh, we want to, and we want to prove to ourselves we can build this. So, for those who are not ready to join in, you can see the process and see the progress as time goes by, and you can see we're serious about anything. So, again, uh, for those of us that are looking to connect with any of us. Make sure people show you a, a legacy or a connection of them being ethical and organized and about what they're about. Other than that, too much of us talk this, I'm a pan-Africanist, I'm a this, I'm a that. And, you know, we were having some of these conversations uh, you know, earlier today. It's like, you know, that don't mean nothing to me. None of those things that people say means anything. It's like, show me what you dedicate yourself to, show me what you're about. Other than that, you can just, you know, any one of us can pick up books. Like I met a lot of people in my beginning of my studies that talked down to me because they read more books than me. And when I started reading the book and I started saying, reading books and studying and up in my level and started talking about practical application, I scared them away and they ran into the alley where they came from. You know, you, you know so I started reaching out to this, the main energy of folks. Uh, so uh, literally just want to have the best of us around. And for anyone that may be listening from one of those organizations that's going to go back and tell their white masters, you know, tell them, you know, tell them, uh, you know, tell them, don't stop us from leaving Africa. You have new replacements to do whatever y'all want to do. We want to leave this country and want to leave it peace. And I said, you know, I was watching that Malcolm X uh, documentary, and it was, you know, on Netflix. Six Fart. I'm like a classic fan of Malcolm, from that movie Spike Lee did to his audio, which I used to just listen to before I get to work, because I had to deal with some wicked ass evil black and white devils. It just literally, just one of our greatest minds of times. It was when the white FBI agents said, "Yeah, we had nine of our agents in the audience," and obviously it wasn't white people in the audience. So you know who those were. You know, so we understand that you know some of us are not really for us. But it's like only thing I can tell them is like literally just tell your folks that you know, you know, we're just trying to do our own thing and whatever, whatever. You, I, they have to do what they have to do. But it's like they were literally just monitoring, watching. You know, so. If they see us destroying each other, they're just monitoring, watching, so they're just destroying each other. You know? But uh, uh, to even some of those folks itself, they don't believe that we can build anything together as a people. So you know, this project represents us trying to build something in Africa because most of what I've seen there in the content is that people just go there, build their own homes, and they have these nice little homes, and they're enjoying life and, and everything, and they're telling you to, to figure it out. You know, the Asians have community there, the Indians, all kind of other people. I named the people, the Lebanese, you go to Senegal, go wherever. They have communities. And I'm not saying we're, we're supposed to be so different, but it's like, you know, you can also use the energy. And yes, Ghanaians are going to be on the property, and they're not just workers. They're people, you know, they're, they're, they'll be there in the energy of our folks. So some of the people that live here in America with us are Ghanaians that want to go back, but they feel this, uh, reach out to me and say, hey, I want to be a part of this community, and then that will put me in a good energy to work better in Ghana and things like that. 
you know, so more for us to focus on some of these things. We could have built some of these communities and then some of us that are struggling there in Ghana and trying to just, you know, and there every minute making YouTube videos so about send me some money and send me this because I'm there in Africa doing this with a line. You, know? you wish you had something to say, hey, you know, you, you want some money? Come here in our community. I got a lot of work for you. And see if they really want to work for the, the money versus putting up YouTube videos and saying that, you know, that, uh, you know fund me for my this and that. Said a whole lot, and I'm uh, hoping that uh, we'll open up in a few, and hoping that uh, we get some good questions, and we you know, close the session soon. I don't really have much to talk about. Only thing I'm just always hoping that everybody looked over everything. So, family, um, so that is the community um, overview, which um, I'm hoping to get a nicer version to post of Facebook and our group chat soon. Other thing we have is our good brother, um, Rakim, did a nice Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community logo. So that I'll be sharing with the group page and sharing on Facebook also, and using that in some of the, uh, in the, the conference call and the videos we upload. Uh, but it's a um, nice logo, we've got you know, the, the, you know, the Black Star all the way around, and the complete name of the community, got a Black Star on the back of the African sun, and you know a red, black, green, and gold house. I've gone over all the important things that I've uh, been hoping everyone been able to process, look to, and everything, and gone over some of the uh, updates. Uh, another update is we have a sample slash land test uh, that we are going to be literally it's getting processed right now, and so the facts and the details from that uh, we've finalized what we need to do, and then uh, beyond the deposit that we send to the chief, we'll be able to send them the rest of the money and. You know, we're in game. So I um, have all of these put together, and anyone can just request them via email for anyone that's trying to join us in the project. I usually just give whatever updates we're working on and all the things that's established. So you can be clear before you put your money down um, and, and so on. Uh, there's refund policy and things like that in the overview and so on. So I want everyone to also be clear on that. Right now, we're in a situation where we have literally about, we've collected about 15,000 towards the project and we literally have about plus um, another 10 in, in credits. So we're about a quarter way through uh, what we need to complete uh, the half part of it. So certain things I want to actually type up in reports and email to those of us that, are, that join the project. I'll be li literally looking to do that so everyone can be clear about what we're working towards. And I've gotten some great questions from our sister. Uh, I'm going to look to them and go through some of those questions before I open things up for questions. And uh, anything that may not have been covered, uh, if you can just share a few of those questions and I'll just answer and go through it. But what you have put together, um, my goal is to organize it along with a few other questions and put together a nice little Q&A. That's one of the things that we can literally just add to the, the website. Uh, and it will be just some of the best questions that we have that, that after you look at everything, it also gives you clarity. So everyone, so family, for those who have questions, please have it written down. We're, we're going to use the rest of the session just to go through questions. Uh, I really honestly don't have much else to say because I just feel like I'm just repeating myself a whole lot uh, with information. All right, so, so everybody is back in the mute mode. So uh, when you press star six, I'll meet yourself, give your name, where you're calling from, and your questions. And then please, um, I'm hoping that those who have the questions literally read the information because I don't want to be a rude person. I just want the questions from people who are literally looked at everything. Everyone else, it's a chance to look through the stuff and maybe jot some questions down and talk to me and, and things like that. The first set of people, please, is uh, unmute your phone and then um, I'll just monitor the screen. Hi, uh, family. This is Renee. I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, my question was, um, can we have a block wall around our plot? And will they be a block wall where the community center and the um, community center and the security entrance is. Is there, is there a block wall up front? 
I appreciate you, Renee. Thanks. A, a great question. Uh, so the situation is uh, we have to talk about some of these things directly as a community. It's not up to me directly, but at the same time, too, the goal is to build a secure community uh, because, again, we're going to be a group of people that's focusing on organizing what we need to organize to do different investments and things, um, and we need to really just monitor who comes in and out of the community. Uh, so the design is going to show a security post, uh, and, but the goal is literally to, and, and we have to also look at how we're going to fund the operation to block everything off, or at least put a you know put a certain security fence around the entire perimeter. So that I can see that this happening, but I don't know how soon that uh, may happen. But that is the vision, and uh, also it's uh, you know it's what the situation is. You know we want to make sure that we have controlled access and. To make sure people feel safe and people feel, you know, that everything is going to be good. The good thing about it uh, is you, you know, we're moving to, in a, a very peaceful country, which means not absolutely not much, and moving into an environment that's very clean and organized, and we're building great relationships with uh, the community. But at the same time, too, usually things that go wrong come from folks from maybe maybe an hour away or something. That, you know, but nevertheless, the goal is to make sure. The whole thing is secured uh, with a certain fence and security. And I'm one of the people that believe in high-tech surveillance and in military operation and things like that. So we just have to figure out how we're going to exactly do that. And the other thing, is, as far as the actual each person plot, that's something. Uh, it depends. You know, it's like um, uh, I'm not going to try to be like the Garvey town folks saying that. You know, we don't want nobody building any prisons. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we have to really think about it, and every decision is up to the community of folks and literally just organize it. But we may think, want to think about trying to – and that's why we're making sure that the best of us are, are part of this community because we want to feel safe. Uh, you know, I want people to be able to say, well, money, I'm going to see my mother in uh, New York for, for six months, and here's my keys, or, and, or just you know, make sure everything goes good with my property, and we just look out for ourselves, you know, um, and – Want, want people to be able to just walk, you know, walk to where I'm at and just say, you know, uh, say what's up to me and just, you know, without having to be locked off from a fence like I'm worried about them doing certain things. So if we can secure the perimeter of the community, we can probably leave mo most of it open. But for those who may want certain things more secure, we can probably just say, you know, we're not here to not also, but, you know, we, we have a perfect location on the back for you to do that. Uh, so that could be one of those things. And again, uh, love to just get other people our opinion on what other people see will work for us as a community. Okay, thank you. Um, Bill yeah. Renee, um, the other thing is we haven't set up a time frame to build. I'll be over there this year, but is there going to be a time frame? People are buying their plots, so we're going to be clearing the land, and then the land has to be maintained. So. Is there any suggestions, okay, once you clear that land uh, and you come back and have to clear it, I mean, maybe six months, now you have your um, foundation. How is that foundation going to work for us? Well, appreciate uh, the question, Renee. Uh, let me go through the process of your different parts of your questions. I'll be in Ghana uh, with another group of us in May, and we're going to go directly on the land. Uh, towards the end of May, I want to say is maybe um, May 29th, uh, sunrise, 10 or May 30th. Um, you know, but it's literally the end of the month. Once we leave from Accra, we're going right to the uh, direction of Cape Coast, Almina, and halfway through is where the land is. So um, the goal is to literally, uh, literally transfer because we have half of what we need to, you know, to pay the um, the 50 percent. So the goal is literally to get all of that work out uh, to make sure that chiefs have all of the money. I've spoken to our lawyer and our consultant and uh, asked them how long does it take to get the land deed. Um, and you know, so the goal is to make sure all the money is sent over and received by the end of April, which I know I can do. I just need to make my way around calling the list of people and just explain it to them. And once we do that, I've already signed the MOU as a representation of us, and then the chief signed the the other part of MOU for the representation of him representing the community and offering us the land, and that's written in stone on what they explained. That's why we have those dates. Yeah, so once that's done, our goal is to make sure that our lawyer and everybody is processing and organizing the land deed at the beginning of May. That way, when we get there, we have the actual land deed, and between the time they're processing the land deed, 
the goal is, to, um, I've talked to our consultant Kwabna and he's going to get with our other brother Prempe. We're, we're going to get every part of the land that we need cleared out because I'm not doing another video with walking, doing the stuff that we did to go see the land because uh, it throws people off uh, and you know people need to see the land clear. Like I saw um, one of our brothers upload a picture in one of our group page about some land and went about nice and clear. So the goal is to, to, to do that and the money that's going to be clear the land is already in the cost of what we're doing. Uh, so that's the, the, the good thing about it. We will later on figure out what all of us have to pay monthly to maintain the property, that is not an easy calculation right now, but we can work towards it. So once we're there in May, um, and I'll take everybody to the property, everybody will see the property is clear and everything. They'll see us with the land deed. Um, and that literally put us in a situation where, where the community overview that we put together, and after I talked to the land survey, he'll basically be able to explain many different things to me which is not going to be able to be explained until I give him the draft which I'm hoping to be able to give it to him in the next uh, two weeks and talk with him. The organized plans would be to talk to our lawyer about this too. When everything is said and we have our deed, what's the, the process for individuals to register their own land so they can have their own name and their own plot linked to land commission and then uh, the, and we'll talk to the survey about putting a group survey together. That way you can, your land, your portion of your land will be surveyed and then that way when you're dealing with your builders, um, they can have that, that, that together. So I got to put a package of that information together uh, and that will be done ahead of time. So basically when you're ready to, to actually build, you're looking more at the summertime, June, July, August. For those who are ready and maybe a little bit more before that, but you're definitely looking at least June because uh, uh, a whole lot of things that need to happen in April and May. Um, and so that's it, uh, June, July build. And for those who just need a little bit more time to build before that, uh, we just do our best to just work it out for you. Like, uh, Renee, you're someone that's ready to go and appreciate that. And we're going to do our best to make sure that you can, you know, you and a few other people can build right away. So you guys will be able to just let us know which plots you want and and so on and then we just get a list of that going and you know we just find out the people want to literally move first and make it to where at least you know we can start building up the community where it just looks nice and you know work our way from the front to the back um so even that still got to like lay out a nice organized plan but in the best overview that's what i can really tell everyone and in the summertime anyone that has balance i'm calling you and i'm talking to you about paying the rest of the balance or if you're not ready to pay the rest of the balance, I'm letting you know that I got to get your plot to someone else who want to pay for the full plot because they're ready to build and you can move into the second phase of what we're working on and things like that. I'll be able to just begin to start having those real conversations uh, because I'm just definitely want to know nothing is stopping us from doing this. You know? And it is this is our divine time to do this. So I'm happy that someone like yourself is with us and just really just stepping up and communicating with others and you know and you know so we want to make sure that we represent people like yourself because there's so much more people like yourself out there but some of them are not going to mess with us until we have things more organized so this gives us a chance to start building a community in the um you know beginning of summer okay and which is, Sounds good. yes and which is a which is less than a whole year so when people tell me they've been building a community for 15 years and 20 years and they have a raggedy house and a raggedy school and a few raggedy buildings on there. I'm like, yo, this is just, you're just not getting up every day and doing the work you need to do. All right, so I appreciate you, Renee. Um, next person, can you um, give your name where you're calling from, your question? All right, uh, also note, everyone, I have nothing else to say about what we're doing because it's all there. Uh, so we're just doing questions. Bomani. Uh, greetings. Uh, this is Sean from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, greetings, my brother. Welcome to the call. Okay. Yeah, my question is, it's probably out the box a little bit. I was, I'm not ready to build, and I was interested in just getting a plot and just having like a community garden and stuff. Is that possible? A community garden, um, yeah, that's the process that... Uh, the phase of what we have is ready for folks to build their home, so I don't want to deny somebody who's ready to build a home. But if you need some land to do projects like that, the best thing I can offer you is uh, once we get this going, and we, you know, because once we get this going, 
we have a whole lot of options open to us as far as land. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be able to have more land to work with where you can you know, build anything you want to build, build, build land. We also do need to have community gardens organized, which the perfect place to do it is also, you know, we have the front part of the, um, the community where it's going to be community center, um, you know, park type set up and things like that. And that would be perfect if, uh, that would be perfect. Maybe you could, we, maybe we can work together and, and doing something like that. But definitely I can, we can get you some access to the land on the second phase for that. Okay. All right, cool, perfect. And also um, you posted a picture on um, the, uh, the, the tour, the uh, tour WhatsApp page for December. Um, I saw the uh, I saw the trees and I saw the land clear, um, but I, it just said winnable. Um, do you have if you have any information on that? If you can, you know, if you don't mind, send it to me via email or so. I let, you know, I'm always interested in looking at things like that. Okay, yeah, I'll send it to you. All right, perfect. Okay. This is Renee from Los Angeles. Uh, other people might have questions. I have two other questions. Um, you said, uh, so we see the diagram how the plots might be set up. Are we going to be able to select from these? Are we still waiting for the layout, actual layout from the engineer or the architect, and then we select the plot? Yeah, right now uh, what I have shown on the screen is um, it'll be it, that, that has to be modified, so it's going to be 50 plots. So um, I think give the wrong estimate. So half of those plots are still available, and the other you know, the other the other half has been taken up by those of us who just joined the project, or those of us who who have confirmed with me that they want to still be a part of what we're working on. That's why we need to just get that done. So then you'll be able to. You know, we'll be able to have the real conversation, especially for the half of the people that we already have already. Where you want to, you know, where you want to be at, what type of house you want to build, and the momentum of that is going to be based on those individuals, uh, because those are individuals that put their money down, so they'd be able to help us define how to start doing certain things. So, just got to get to that point where we just talk to, you know, talk to people who are who are ready to go to that level and just mark it off and figure out where we're going to put everybody. So all that just has to be processed and it won't be able to be really processed until we get the perfect community layout of just like, all right, this is what we're going to do. And my second follow-up is once we register our land in our name, is there any investigation on like property tax that we need to pay or do we get insurance? You know, we're from the state, so I don't think there will be wildfires or floods, but do we need to have that while we're over in Ghana? I'm not really sure. Uh, yes, you're going to uh, pay property tax um, anywhere from 30 to $50 a year. Uh, that uh, we can't estimate, um, and a lot of the estimation is going to be from when we, uh, when we do at least one of the individual survey and so on. And I'm uh, based the property tax off talking to so many of my brothers and sisters that repatriate. That's one of my biggest things that what you have to pay for property tax here, because. But that's what I've been told: twenty to fifty dollars. And these people have bigger homes, and some of them have bigger homes than we have. Uh, so, but um, I know we have to get definite on everything. So that's another one of those unique documents I'll type up. You know, a lot of things that we're talking about, and explain what it's going to cost and things like that. So. Uh, and then the other question uh, is more from, and and also this is from a legal standpoint. So that's why I'm happy that we have you know, we have a great lawyer that we're working with that's dedicated to the project and dedicated to making sure this work. Uh, so, so a lot of these things I'll be talking back with him and things like that. So uh, I can also, you, you know, like uh, like we're talking about we're building a Q and A, that can uh, be one of those questions that we'll put on there. Okay. But uh. I appreciate you, Renee. Do you have any other questions? I want to just open things up for others if you, if you finish the questions. One more. Uh, as the welcoming committee, I did reach out to some of the brothers and sisters uh, indicating that the payment was due. I hope that that's working out. Also, a part of the bylaws committee, we have finished drafting and submitted that to our visionary, Bomani, and it's just... Um, what we're going to have within the co-op, what kind of members, what kind of association dues, um, uh, what kind of meetings we need to hold, so we know that all this is going to be materialized, but that's what we've been working on for the last four months. 
And so we did finalize that and send it over. So we appreciate it, uh, Yasin. It was, a, it was a very long, detailed document. So I did. I printed it out, and I sent it to uh, two of the uh, two of uh, my brothers and sisters that I'm working with uh, to help me look over certain things. That's a part of our group. Uh, so we're going to be looking over and everything and uh, doing our best to give good feedback on it. You know, this is another thing I was telling everyone that you know that uh, some of us have stepped our game up and you know and working towards things, and we'd love to see other people take on individual projects or projects that they see that should be taken on, and then come full energy with it. Just like you know, you guys typed up a nice long detailed report and been meeting over the last few months, and you know that's how we get things done. Again, family, this thing can be done, and uh, you know, uh, like Renee, you, you see how far we've gotten from. Even when we're dealing with the last project, yes, yeah, and that's it. And, you know, so it's no magic, family. We just got to come together, communicate, and just do what needs to be done. So, so appreciate you, um, Renee, and um, I will. You know, the things that I that I'm working on, I will literally be able to communicate with you in a few days and just uh, give you some feedback on certain things. But uh, thank you for the energy and reaching out to certain people. Um, it did help a little bit, uh, not a little bit. It did help a lot. I mean, you know, you reaching out to certain people. Um, but you know, you know, you and I know the situation. Some of the situation is just a little bit. You know, some people are tired and burnt out. Uh, the people in Garvey Town really suck the energy dry. Thank you. Absolutely, my sister. You're welcome. All right, so family, the line is open. Uh, press star six to um, unmute yourself, and then uh, you question your name and where you're calling from. Hi, Bumani. This is Catherine. How are you? Uh, greetings, uh, Catherine. Um, welcome to the call. What's your question? Uh, I'm I'm a little late, so I missed the first part. But I don't know if you mentioned about the borehole. How approximately? How much is that going to cost? I have absolutely no idea of what the borehole is going to cost because we haven't put any price together for it. for anything okay. that's going to be developed in the community. So. Trying to work from a phase where we have a community layout and then start trying to plot things of what needs to be done in that community. So uh, you caught us at the beginning of a project where we've been building a foundation and <clears throat> some of those things are not answered. But if individuals would like to do research on any of those things, those things would be very helpful. And just like as I'm collecting questions from Renee, which have some great questions, we're just compiling the information. So if you you know, so if this if that's something that you're open to doing or someone else that's that would definitely help. And I know all of this Yeah, is, I'm open. I'm open. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of this is simple for me to do, but it's like when you have about when you have a hundred simple things to do, you end up not getting all of them done right away. So you just so, so we're just trying to work from one angle to to the next and reaching out to individuals, see if they can do certain things. And also even like uh, another thing too, um we definitely would need solar power so I'm looking for someone to even say, hey, uh, this is one option of a solar power package uh, and, and so on, and or these are some unique homes that we that could be built in Ghana by this price and so on. Uh, beyond that, uh, let me know if you have uh, another uh, question. No, that's it. That was going to be my second question about the solar. But I think I will look into that because I did speak to someone but that's just speculation. I want to get some concrete information. I was told that the borehole would cost like approximately two thousand to five thousand dollars. So um, I'll get a more concrete um, estimate for that area, and I'll also look into with the solar power, and I'll get back in touch with you with that. Absolutely, and I appreciate energy. Okay, thank you. Absolutely, and I um, look forward to connecting with you in Ghana and looking forward to you seeing the things that we'll talk about unfold when you physically get there in the country. And then you can evaluate us to see if the things that we talk about flows through. Um, I'm, you know, I'm always open to that because yeah, we have to stick to the things we talk about. I'll be able to have a real conversation with you when I physically see you and, and we'll be able to say, hey, see if we've been able to get the things we talk about done, and al along with uh, some of the other people that are coming to Ghana with us um, in May, connect with me and and just kind of just talk about are we you know moving in the right direction? In the last three months, you said this, did we get it done, and so on. Okay, thank you. Absolutely, uh, sister, you take care. All right, family, the line is open. Press star six to unmute yourself. 
and uh, your question where you're calling from and your name. All right, family, what I'm going to do is close the call in a minute uh, since no one else have any questions. But if anyone else have any questions. All right, uh, family, the conference call is not really for me to just go over the same thing. It's really for us to get questions and have conversations and talk about certain things and give updates. Uh, is anyone working on any project or working on anything that they can share with us um, and give some updates? But anyway, um, family, everybody, take care of yourself. And uh, I do my best to update everybody via email. And if you have any direct questions you want to talk about anything, you can call me directly. The worst case I'll do is if I can't talk to you, I'll call you back in a few hours. And the worst case, I'll call you back the next day. That's it. I'm don't, not one of the people that take several days to do things. So uh, just communicate. And beyond that, uh, we're just doing our best to organize this project. But it, uh, we can only do so much as the few individuals that are actually working on this project. Uh, so. Anybody want to volunteer for anything or give any input? Uh, it's you know it's a project that's being organized for us, and unfortunately I have to take the lead because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying is like everyone is just stand around twiddle their thumbs and look at each other and you know and be just a group of conscious, well-educated people. But you know someone is looking for somebody to lead, and I don't want to be that person leading anything. I just want to help organize uh, things, you know. Uh, so. Um, I'm nobody's leader or anything. I'm just a business person organizing with us to build something for us. Uh, that I'm, I'm, I remove all these titles that people want to throw at you and give you and, and everything. I'm none of those things. You know what I'm saying I'm a, I'm someone that's that's only thing I'm dedicated to is us being the greatest and the best and showing the world that we can do something together and you know and and lead the and, you know and Hopefully we can be an energy to lead the blind, and the blind being people like Garvey, Tan, Fianca, these other communities that's trying to come up, and other people that are playing around with games of the lives of our future and everything, and and be a good representation. So if people want to call that leadership or anything, they can do that. But you know, it's they're not trying to roll no titles, and I'm here to organize and communicate and help us and build with us because at the end of the day, I'm trying to do what work that we need to do. Also, I need to have a two business, you know, Bomani Technology the Service and Support, where uh, you know, I do the highest level of technical uh, business, and I don't want to expand or do anything here. I am scared to even open up a storefront. You know, it just you know, it's like when you just know how the thing work, you just try to you know, we have to live here just like anybody else. You just try to do what you need to survive. And the same thing with my other business. Uh, you know, it's it's here in my home, and any of us are more than welcome to come in and I can get the greatest amount of what I need to get done here without other people meddling in my business. You know, so I, you know, I want to expand and I want to do one, every wonderful things and I can literally build a tech center and hire a whole bunch of our people to do a bunch of different technical work. But I need to uh, be in Ghana and move to Ghana and get things established to where those of us who want to build business like that, we can join our force and join our energy and things like that. So there's a lot of things that this can open for us, you know, and for those of us uh, small business, your business now expanded there where people like myself got your back and we're working together. Uh, someone at line is muted. Can you give your name? Where you're calling from? Any question? Bomani, this is Dali Master. Hey, greetings, uh, brother. Uh, greetings, brother. How are you? Welcome to the call. I'm fine. Calling call from Florida. Now, is it possible for you to list, uh, put a list of the uh, things or the tasks that, that needs to be done? And when you list them so that individuals can access them and then they can determine whether or not they themselves or a group of them can undertake a few of them and then let you know, communicate with you, and then you can have those, make those arrangements. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a list and I just, I don't have time to put a list together. I just, you know, it's like I'm not looking for just to assign or babysit people, but um, I don't have a list and I won't be able to have certain things until I get a few other things done. Um, but right now we're dealing with the people that are ready to volunteer and do certain things and willing to say, hey, like we have a logo because someone say, hey, Bomani, did you get, did you have, do you have other guys that have a logo? Yeah, we could have put that on a list, but this, that, this, I got a stack of paperwork right here dealing with this community, not even the business that I do every day tours, because that's a little simpler. Um, but trying to, trying to, and then you know when we do create these communities, communities and things like that, I do have a paper that people have to update and things like that. But uh, just trying to 
le open things up for those who want to step out uh, and not be so much where we're babysitting people. But we will, we will eventually do that, honestly. Um, but right now, just tied up with a bunch of stuff. Uh, so I have a few people, like, you know, I have two people that's helping, uh, that's part of our group that, you know, brought into what we're doing and they're helping with certain things. Uh, so anyone of our brothers and sisters out there, just communicate with me and just talk to me, let me know what you can do. Um, and um, beyond that, uh, just give us time to work on those things and um, we'll have it done. So that's all. I appreciate your question. I'll, I'll do my best. Um, but I don't want to tell people I'm going to put something together and it doesn't happen. And uh, also, if anyone who want to put things together that they feel it needs to be done, uh, you can share that. We all have, it's a lot of us in that group page. So that's, uh, unfortunately, that's my answer for now in that situation as best as I can <clears throat> deal with it while I'm trying to deal with a bunch of things that I've tied myself up on. Yeah, so that I have to literally just look at. All right, family, um, does anybody have any questions? I have a long list of things that people have come in actually about giving them updates and things, but we're trying to get feedback from individuals and there's nothing. So anyway, um, yeah, like I said, we can either work together and be great and build what we need to build, or we can just watch everyone else outdo us and do it, you know, and so on. So um, you could also email questions or anything. But I swear we're going to probably have to cut down on Sunday's conference calls because I made myself available and ready to go through certain things. And I don't want to be able to stay here talking, 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 repeat myself, repeat myself, and then having to answer a lot of questions that we, you know, there's a lot of things we haven't gotten done. And it's just, it, it won't get done until we either get to it or people that are part of, who say they want a community, work towards it. So everyone, um, I want you to have access to my email and my phone number. You can call me directly and let me know something. Um, I'm working seven days a week on everything that we talk about working on. And I just want to see other people match the work ethic so we can progress. And that starts by reading information and asking questions and things like that. And anyone else from the last project who need a refund back or whatever, uh, even that, just call me, communicate with me. Anyone who feels that this is just going the complete wrong way or something or they don't like where it's going, Call me and communicate with me. We need to just communicate about all this because then this is not the Bomani Tarama show. I'm not here to lead, to be nobody leader or take, you know, I'm here for, for us to work together to build something. The line is open for questions for those who have looked over the information. I right, tell me, since no one have any questions, everyone take care of yourself. Um, you want to know where I'm at and what I'm doing. I'm working on the things that I'm working on. And if you want to talk to me about it, you can talk to me about it. At the end of the day, I'm looking for people to communicate with me on what they can work on. And for those who want to wait around for us to get everything done, you can just wait and know the fact that we're working on it and it's going to take time. So the projection of the times that I get to build and everything, uh, those are realistic time. Just like I promised the documents, the, the time we're going to go to Ghana, record videos, put this up on the website. Every single last one of those things I've given my word to has been done. And then, so now I have a new set of things now and I'll be working on that and when we get to the next conference call, I have everything emailed and sent to individuals ahead of time. And you can look at it and process it. And then please write questions down so you, we can talk about these things. Uh, other than that, um, I'm not going to be doing this conference call too frequently if there's just no questions or if it's just the same people that is asking questions. Because in that situation, I can just literally call those two people. Again, family. Um, Love to see some more people open up to communicating and volunteering to do certain things. And basically, once, once I get this thing out, it's a first come first serve. Basically, first people who pay all their money is who have access to these plots. Even if it's somebody from Garvey Town before it, and they 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 don't have you know it's just what it, this is. It's not a priority system. The priority system is based on who complete everything that they need to complete and ready to build and ready to go. Uh, everyone else, you be pushed to the back, to the back, and understand that whenever any price increase, whatever your credit is, it will be you know, minus whatever the new price is. The new phase will be uh, when we negotiated looking at three thousand uh, dollars. Right now, uh, plats are two thousand five hundred, and they all include five hundred dollars administrative costs, which also includes clearing of land. And as far as the commercial prices of uh, 
once I get this layout, I'll talk to land survey, and uh, we'll be able to just have some more clarity. So I'll have all of these updates to everyone, and I hope some other people have updates to us or say, and, and things like that. Uh, other than that, this becomes an unfair energy of, uh, of you know, a nation building. So family, everybody, appreciate the energy. Once again, this is Bomani Tamba. And everyone, enjoy the night, enjoy the rest of the day, and you take care. And I'll be on standby if anyone needs to speak or communicate with me.